beautiful people, what's happening? I'm Chris Cadenhead, and today I'm going to teach you how to accompany a vocalist. Now this is the first of a series of videos about accompaniment, about accompanying vocalists, singers, instrumentalists, but mainly we're going to focus on accompanying singers. Make sure you stay tuned because later I'm going to get into more detail with some live performances and things as demonstrations. But for now, I'm going to teach you the fundamentals and the basics um, that I've developed over the last 20 years playing behind singers um, that will help you keep a job, uh, fine-tune your skill set, um, and really I just want to bring to light some things that are that may not be as well known or as common knowledge. Um, I wouldn't say secrets because I don't know that's just kind of cheesy to me but yeah these are definitely inside tricks of the trade if you will that are going to help you elevate and go to the next level. So in no particular order because they're all of equal importance. Number one, become a better conversationalist. What does that mean? Why are you talking about conversation when we're talking about playing for a singer? Well, seeing as though music is a language, you're having a conversation. Whenever the singer is singing and you're supporting the singer through your instrument, you are having a conversation now. In an actual conversation, you listen. You speak when it's your turn. And if you have a response to something, you wait until there's a a pause or a break, you know, you wait for the right time. You ask follow-up questions and you engage with the other person who you're talking to. These are the exact same things that you do when you play for a singer. So the more you work on being a better conversationalist and engaging in conversation, the better of a musician you'll become. In turn, the better accompanist you'll become. They're all interrelated. Number two, listen and listen actively. What do I mean by listen actively? You're almost removing yourself from what you're doing to pay attention to what the singer is doing. You're listening, you're engaging with the singer. So one, one thing that helps me remain engaged is to look at directly at the singer at all times. Um, I mean, unless, you know, unless she's standing next to me, you know, next to me or something, I don't want to hurt my, <laughs> my neck, but you know, but, uh, but yeah, but, Look at the singer at all times, or the or the instrumentalist, whoever you're accompanying. Um, this helps me remain engaged and pay attention. Um, the minute you stop paying attention, or you check out and think about what you're going to eat after the gig, or or what groceries you're going to get later, or whatever, the minute you check out, the minute you fail to support the the singer, you have to remain engaged at all times. Number three, know your role. What role are you playing per song? Per song, your role may change. When do you take a back seat? When do you continue to lead? When do you solo? You know what I'm saying? When do you lay out, you know, horn players? Like you don't have to, you don't have to play all the time. Ouch. It's important to know what role you're playing so that you can effectively fulfill said role. Number four, when in doubt, layout that's the golden rule of music uh, really life if you think about it if you don't know something don't try to say anything or don't try to you know fi fix something or whatever just lay out it's, it's as simple as that um specifically when it comes to accompanying a singer though if you forget a chord change or something just don't play it because you you don't want to risk playing the wrong thing when you you know the wrong voicing or something when you come in and you risk throwing the singer off you know um, just lay out. It's okay. Number five, protect the melody. Think of the melody as an infant, like a little baby. When you hold an infant, you hold a baby, you want to put their head in the in your cradle of your elbow like this. You know what I mean? You, you might mess around and have their head be falling off the edge. You don't, no, nah, we, we don't want that. At all costs, you got to pr protect that little baby, protect the melody. And really, the only way to protect the melody is to know the melody. So you have to know the melody better than the singer knows the melody. Because if you don't know it, how can you avoid it? 
this applies specifically to suspended voicings. Like you don't you don't want to stay on that suspended fourth while the singer is singing the third, you know, and and clash and rub. So it's better to avoid that altogether. And lastly and most importantly, wait, I said these were all important. Anyway, lastly and most importantly, realizing that as an accompanist, our main goal is to support like a California king size bed for the singer to just lay back in and float and feel so comfortable and confident that wherever they may go we're going to be right there to 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 uh, not catch them if they fall catch them yes but to be right there with them wherever they go um, that is our main job as a company uh, whether it's drums whether it's you know bass guitar keyboard piano all of it doesn't matter what your instrument is you want we want to make sure that the singer knows and trusts the fact that we're going to be there to support and not get in the way and only be there to uh, elevate the situation so that's it there you go ladies and gentlemen the fundamentals of accompanying a vocalist uh, though these these topics and ideas are going to set you well on your way uh, have you sounding polished and keep you working so do abide by these things I'm gonna be doing more of these to deep dive into these topics so if you want to be notified when those videos drop just hit that bell notification button and uh, subscribe if you so choose and uh, have a beautiful and amazing week and day. Peace and love. I'll talk to y'all on the next one. Uh, who the f is texting me, bro? The fundamentals. 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 You gotta. Who's that?